when I left school, uh, I started to organise big events for my friends, you know, literally just taking 30 to 40 people away to cottages or castles around the country. And so the idea of organising things and making things happen that was always something that was just in me. And so it was a sort of a logical extension for me eventually to gravitate into that as the, as the way I made my living. I think there's an area here that nobody ever bothers talking to somebody about. Okay, so in other words, you could have gone through as many courses as you want, learnt as much as you want. Now, it depends what you're in. If you're in a technical field, then what I'm about to say probably doesn't matter so much. I'm not somebody who sits still very well. You know, if we want to be able to make a TV programme, we know how to do that. We have the experience of how to do it. We can produce books. We can make DVDs. We can build websites. We can do whatever we want to do. Um, so it's there really as a facility to allow amazing things to happen. And it really is that simple. The culmination of my career, probably. What will happen in the future, I don't know. But if I did nothing else, I think all of that is a nice legacy to have. It's definitely very satisfying bringing together the book, the DVD, the TV series, you know, getting the money together for an expedition is difficult. Then filming it whilst you're actually on the road is quite tough. Then turning it into all the media related stuff when you come back and in, in, in involving the website and stuff like that. You know what I mean? We only do that because that's our business and it's only my business because I've wanted to make it happen. And I think everybody should do that. But to me, I just want to make things happen. So I tend to be involved right from the beginning to the end. Um, and in that role, I love it because you actually have firm control over everything and that's what we're all about isn't it you can start off at an easy level and say I want to get better and do something a bit more difficult you can have an adventure in a day or two days or say you've got two weeks but it's actually on your doorstep I think actually the world is everybody's oyster now and they need to think differently they need to be more creative we all need labels on the other hand, you might want to innovate and do something of your own to create a bit of a buzz around what you've done specifically. So it's a long answer, but it's a really important answer. If people just think that stuff's going to come to them because they technically know what they're doing, it doesn't work.